I'm Lauren Parker for Expert Village, and we're talking about etching copper today. And an important factor in getting a good etch is that you need to have the copper really nice and clean before you etch it. And the best way to do that, I like these Scotch-Brite pads, and I use uh, denatured alcohol. Denatured alcohol is going to be better than rubbing alcohol because it's a more pure alcohol. You find this at a paint store or a hardware store. Uh, the problem with isopropyl alcohol, the rubbing alcohol, is that it can leave behind a little bit of a film. Uh, this stuff just evaporates away, and I just use this slightly abrasive pad, and you can see if I rub on this copper foil, it really brightens it up pretty easily. If you've got really gunky, kind of messed up copper, you can also consider using an SOS pad or Brillo pads work pretty well. The advantage to the alcohol method, though, is that uh, the alcohol evaporates away very quickly, and you just want to pat it dry with a little bit of paper towel. And then from this point on, be careful about touching any areas with your fingers that you want to etch, because our fingers have oils on them, and those oils will cause the etch to go a little bit sour.